Hey everyone, Lutz Lounge here. In this quick video, I want to show you four of the most useful blending modes that I use in Final Cut Pro and kind of how you can use them in different situations. So the first one we're going to talk about is actually the screen blending mode. I've talked about this on a couple other tutorials, uh, but I have this beach scene right here. You can see it's a top-down drone shot of a beach scene. It's kind of cloudy, look like it's going to rain a little bit. And I actually have this uh, rain layer that actually looks like it's falling down, like rain coming from the top. So this is perfect to add rain to our shot. Now, the easiest way to do this and the, the best way to uh, kind of blend this in with uh, the underlying shot is with a blending mode. So we're going to click on this rain uh, texture here, basically, and go to our blending mode in our video inspector, and we're going to change it to screen. Now when we do that, what basically screen does is remove all of the black that is in the image. So now if we were to play this, it looks like the rain is coming down. Now it's a little bit still fake. We probably need to play with the whites a little bit to make them look not so bright white. Uh, and then if we need, uh, if we have a little bit of haze showing from the black, we can actually take that away. You can see we adding that a little back with the, um, the exposure. So we're just take that down a little bit. And now when we do it, it looks kind of like rain is falling down. So it's kind of a cool, uh, a cool effect to do with the blending mode. So that is the screen blending mode. Okay, so now let's go into this scene here. We have this scene here, and what we, we want to do is kind of make it more like a uh, like a, like a really f fun opening sequence. So let's say this is the beginning of a clip, and you want um, a really fun opening sequence where there's a texture kind of going over the image. So I found this texture here, and it's kind of like a, a wavy, kind of abstract sort of texture. Um, I don't really know what to call it, but it's really kind of a smoky kind of feel. But uh, what we want to do is actually do the opposite of the screen. We actually want to keep the black in the image, but remove the white. And the way you do that with uh, with the blending mode is going over to your inspector, going to your blending modes, and choosing multiply. So right here we have multiply. We click that. It takes away all the white, but it keeps that black there. So now it's kind of like a fun opening sequence just like that. Um, just kind of adds a little bit of texture to the video, and it's kind of a fun thing. So if you, if you have something that is white, uh, with a white background, there's a lot of textures out there that have a, like, a white background. That's a really easy way to blend that into your uh, your video. Okay, so now we have this scene right here. This is a simple scene, just a, one that you would typically use. Uh, but this we want to add a little bit of texture. So I have this texture right here. It's kind of, kind of a cloth texture. kind of goes in with uh, the clothes the, the, the person's wearing here. So if we do that, we want to add that texture into the image. And one easy way to do that is another blending mode here. And that is the overlay blending mode. If we do that, you can see we kind of adding uh, that cloth texture here. If it's a little bit too much, what we can do is take the opacity down or we can go to soft light and soft light will actually fade it a little bit and give it, get a little bit more of that texture back, uh, but it removes some of the existing color. So if you have something with a, a really crazy color with it and you just kind of want that texture, I would probably recommend soft light. Most of the time I like the uh, the harshness, I guess, of, of overlay. And we can also again back that down so you can see it's coming in through. So you can see that it just adds that quick little texture in there uh, and it's a it's kind of a fun little thing so uh, now let's go into our, our last one here our last one is uh, again kind of a smoke texture that we want to add here but instead of using screen and i'll show you the difference why instead of using screens i'm going to use a different one so this is our texture with black uh, and we want to kind of remove the black a little bit but what we want to do is kind of keep a little bit of the existing color in the underlying layer. So if we were to add this to screen, um, you can see that it, it, you know, it kind of fades in, which is not a bad effect whatsoever. Uh, it, it's a kind of a cool smoky effect. But if we were to change this to instead of screen, change it to color dodge, you can see that the 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 fog gets a little less intense, and you can see that the colors really shine through the fog there. So if we were to play that, you can see. The, uh, the the cool effect that it gives so it's just a it's a different way of doing it so there's there's plenty of blending modes I've only talked on the four but these are the four that I, I typically use on a day-by-day -day basis when editing the videos here so those are just four useful blending modes quickly play around with all these other ones if you uh, if you find one that works for you go you know have at it but these are the ones that I typically use and I find uh, more useful than the others so thank you guys for joining me in this video uh, head on over to lutzlounge.com more tutorials over there more LUTs all kinds of fun stuff and uh, please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel I would always appreciate that and I will see you in the next video